What? Dish soap harms plants? How can that be when so many DIY gardening recipes use this stuff? How can it harm plants? Well, the answer is really simple. Gardeners just don't know that it harms plants. So people keep repeating the same advice over and over and over again. Did you know that this isn't even dish soap? Or that real soap is not the same thing as insecticidal soaps, as so many people claim? And what about this thing called Castile soup? Is it good for plants? Is it a good replacement for this? I'm going to answer these many more questions in this video, all about soap. To understand this subject, we have to start at the beginning and do a little chemistry. Now, don't run away. It's not complicated. Soap is made by combining fats and oils with lye. Lye is sodium hydroxide. When those two chemicals are combined, they form something called the sodium salt of fatty acids. Now, fatty acids are a good thing. They're in plants and they're in humans. It doesn't harm us. These soaps can be made from a number of different oils including coconut, palm, and olive oil. Traditionally, they've been made from using meat fats. You have some of these soaps in your home. The bar soap that you use to wash your hands is probably this kind of soap, what we call a sodium soap. The liquid soaps that you have are probably also this kind of soap. What is detergent? We use it for cleaning, just like the soaps, but it's a different category of compound. A detergent is made from synthetic chemicals, and it's usually a bunch of different chemicals mixed together to form that detergent. You rarely know what's going into that product, and it's never been tested on plants, but you can be sure that detergents harm plants. Now back to this product here, something we tend to call dish soap. At least in North America, we use that term. It's not soap. This is actually a detergent. If you read the label, what it says is dishwashing liquid. It doesn't call it detergent because a lot of people think detergent is not really good for your skin. But that's what it is, is a detergent. This is not soap. This product should never be used on your plants. When I'm talking about this product, I'm, I'm not picking on Dawn. It's just one brand, and it is a popular one, especially this blue one. Joy, Palmolive, Sunlight, they all make similar products. They're all detergents. The products that are sold for washing your dishes are detergents, not soaps. This product should really be called dish detergent. What has this all got to do with plants? The reason a lot of DIY solutions for plants use soap is that the soap helps the liquid, that mixture you're making, stick to the plants. You need to add something called a surfactant. And a soap is a really good surfactant. It makes the chemical we're adding stick to the plant so it becomes more effective. Some recipes only use a couple drops of soap, and others use quite large quantities of soap. It really depends on the purpose of that mixture. Plants naturally form an oily film on their leaves, kind of a waxy material. Soap dissolves those oils. That's why we use these products for cleaning. It gets the oils off our hands, gets the oil off your dishes. When you're using detergent in the laundry room, you're taking your oily sweat out of the clothes. Well, it does the same thing to plants. When we apply soaps or detergents to plants, it washes off that oily layer. And that's a protective layer. That protects plants from insects and diseases. That oily layer also helps plants keep moisture in the leaves. So if we wash that off, leaves dry faster. It's not good for plants to lose that protective coating. Now when we apply these mixtures to plants, we really don't see any difference. I spray my plant, the leaf is still green, it looks healthy, but we've taken off the oils. And now pathogens can come along and infect my plant. I may not see this for weeks later, and by then, I don't relate it back to this spray I used. The plant becomes more susceptible to insects chewing on the leaves. But again, that happens days later. And that's why gardeners say, if I spray some soap on my plants, it does no harm at all. Because 
In the hour or two after spraying, you don't see the damage. The damage happens later. And it could be pretty mild. Remember, the dose makes the poison. So mixtures with only a few drops of soap are going to do much less harm than mixtures with lots of soap. Some of the chemicals in these soaps and detergents can also be phytotoxic. That means that they actually destroy tissue in the leaves. And again, a lot of this won't show up for a little while. That's one reason you should never use detergents because they have all kinds of chemicals in there. Just have a look at this list of chemicals you find in Dawn dishwashing liquid. Things like sodium lauryl sulfate, sodium lauryl sulfate, and the list goes on. We have no idea what these things are doing to plants, but we do know that if there's too much added to leaves, they are phytotoxic and will harm the leaves. All right, so we're not going to use detergents. Let's stick to the soaps. Well, the problem with most soaps in the home is that they contain sodium. Remember, the soap is made with sodium hydroxide. Sodium is toxic to plants at even very low concentrations. The sodium is not good for plants. In fact, many DIY solutions recommend using table salt to spray on your weeds to kill the plant because it's so toxic. And now you're going to use soap, which also has sodium in it, the same sodium that you find in table salt, and you spray that on your plants. And you think you're solving a problem. We don't want to spray sodium on the plants. And that's why you shouldn't use those house soaps. So are there better alternatives? Well, there are a couple you should consider. The first one is something called Castile soap. And one of the common brands of this is Dr. Bronner's. This is also soap, but it's made with potassium hydroxide. So potassium is much less toxic to plants. And in fact, potassium is a nutrient that plants need. So a Castile soap is much safer to use than all of the other soaps in your home. Unless the soap specifically says it's potassium, it probably isn't. It's probably sodium. And the reason for that is sodium is much less expensive. That's why they use it a lot. Soaps that are made with potassium are more expensive, but they're better for plants. So does that mean the Castile soaps are safe? Well, not exactly because most of those soaps are not made for plants. They're made for humans. And so they have added chemicals in there, things like sea salts and fragrance, citric acid, and something called topopherol. I don't even know what that is. But they add these ingredients to make them smell better and to feel better. And we don't know what those ingredients are doing to plants. But at least the potassium part of it is safer for plants. So I think they're a better choice than anything else in the home. But they're not your best choice. The best choice is insecticidal soap. That is soap made with potassium hydroxide, but it doesn't add all of these other chemicals. Insecticidal soap is tested on plants to make it as safe as possible. You should know that even insecticidal soap can harm plants if you put on too much or you spray too often. And some types of plants are more sensitive than others. But it is the safest soap option you can use. So how do you use insecticidal soap when the recipe calls for Blue Dawn? And by the way, Blue Dawn isn't a lot different than Green Dawn or Orange Dawn and so on. It's mostly fragrances and coloring that's different. Well, take the insecticidal soap and add about the same amount to the mixture. It contains that surfactant, that soap material. So it has the same effect, but it will be less toxic to your plants. Now you know that you should be using insecticidal soap and not something from the home. But a lot of people don't want to do that because insecticidal soap is kind of expensive. But what if I told you that you can buy insecticidal soap for 50 cents US a bottle. Would you use it then? Find out the secret to that in this video right here.